A deadly siege that took place in Kosovo has caused tensions to flare between them and Serbia and it's getting pretty concerning. Here's what's going on. Around 30 gunmen and armoured vehicles stormed the village in Kosovo. They battled with the police and even barricaded themselves in a Serbian Orthodox monastery, resulting in several casualties. The siege has now ended after several hours with police now regaining control of the area. But Kosovo's Prime Minister didn't hold back with his words. He called these attackers Serbia-sponsored criminals, claiming that they were professionals with military and police backgrounds. In addition, Kosovo has now shut key border crossings with Serbia. Serbia has rejected Kosovo's accusations, calling them lies and hoaxes. Now, remember, Kosovo declared independence from Serbia in 2008, but Serbia has never accepted it. And whilst the majority of Kosovo's population is ethnic Albanian, there is a large Serb population in the northern region near the Serbian border. Tensions have been simmering for a while, especially since Kosovo decided to install ethnic Albanian mayors in four Serb-majority districts last May, which resulted in violent clashes with Serb protesters. And that crisis still hasn't been resolved. 